What's up guys? Finding the midpoint can sometimes be one of those things that you know is easy, but you sometimes forget. So what I want to do is just briefly and quickly kind of go over finding the midpoint when we have two points on the coordinate plane and just try to break it down into its fundamentals. So therefore you have a solid foundation of how to find and understand the midpoint. So let's just go and take a look here at what we have. Um, in this example, we have two points here. We have A, which is at point negative one, negative four, and we have B, which is at point two, two. So remember the midpoint is going to be some point that's right in the middle, right? So if we kind of like draw a straight line here, we can see like the midpoint, you know, I don't know if I was just going to estimate or something like that, it'd be somewhere around there, which let's just call this C. Now, I'm not sure if I graphed this everything correctly, so I'm not sure exactly what my coordinate point is. So there is a systematic way though, that we can be able to find exactly where this coordinate point exists. And what's really important about the midpoint is if you remember when we first learned about midpoints, we learned about them on number lines. So for example, in this case, we can see we just have a number line. Let's say we had a point at negative three, which we'll call A, and we had another point at one, which we called B. Now, if I wanted to find the midpoint, Point, right? I wanted to find the point that's exactly in the middle. How would I basically go ahead and do that? Now, basically what we did here is we just want to find the point that's in the middle. Now you could probably say, oh, that's the point right here. And the reason why it's in the middle, because the distance from A to C is two units and the distance from B to C is going to be two units. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative direction. We just know the distance, the absolute value is going to be two. Now, a way mathematically for us to be able to find that is we could simply just take our two points. So a negative three and a one, and we could add them and then divide by two. And when we do that, we get a negative three plus one is a negative two, negative two divided by two, which equals a negative one, which again, if you look at the scaling that I provided, you can see that C is equal to negative one. So how does that compare or how do we use that when we're looking at coordinate points? Well, the main thing I want you to understand with the coordinate plane here is we have a horizontal number line and we have a vertical line number line. All the coordinate plane is, is horizontal and vertical lines, right? Which create this horizontal grid. So when we're looking at our points to AB, yes, there is a diagonal line that connects them, but also you can see that there is a horizontal distance that they are away from each other, as well as a vertical distance that they are away from each other. So basically what we want to do is when we want to find the midpoint, we want to find the horizontal distance, which is going to be our X coordinate. And then we want to find the vertical distance, which is going to be our Y coordinate, right? Because remember every coordinate point on the coordinate grid has an X as well as a Y coordinate. So in this case, what I want to do is just kind of label these as their X and their Y coordinates, right? So we could say this is an X and that's a Y and this is an X and this is a Y. And if you've ever seen the midpoint formula, if you remember, a lot of times students get confused with the X1, Y1, X2, Y2. It's like, why do we have those little, little numbers that we need to add? And the reason why they're called subscripts. And the reason why we use those is just to be able to differentiate between the X and the Y coordinates. Because if we don't differentiate them and I say, what is X? You're not going to know which X I'm talking about. Am I talking about negative one or am I talking about two? So what we're going to want to do here is just go and say, well, I'll call this the first point and I'll call this the second point. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw out the midpoint formula, but I want you to be able to see all it simply is, is just adding my two X coordinates divided by two and adding my two Y coordinates and dividing it by two. So I'm going to call C, right? And that's going to be my midpoint. So I'm going to call this actually a X M and a Y M. Okay. So that I'm just going to use the subscripts as M. You could use three if you wanted to. So therefore to find X M, all I'm simply going to do is going to add my X one plus my X two and then divide it by two, right? Cause basically you can see here that this point is going to be X two. If you see like how far that is over, right? So I'm just going to add these two points and then find the middle, which is going to be somewhere in there. And then to find Y M, which is the midpoint for Y, I'm going to basically do the same thing for the Y's. I'm going to say Y one plus Y two divided by two. So now let's just actually go ahead and figure out what these values are going to be. So, and for the uh, midpoint here, I'm going to take X one, which is going to be a negative one plus two divided by two. Now, negative one plus two is going to be one. One divided by two is going to equal a one half, which again, I'll go ahead and write in, which again, you can kind of see makes sense, right? If this is going to be a one, then you can see one half is like pretty good, right? So a lot of times, you know, you can visualize this kind of using like a little dotted line. You can see I did not too bad of a job. Now let's go and check out our YM. So our midpoint for Y is going to be the addition of our two Y coordinates. So that's going to be Y one. So negative four plus two divided by two. Well, negative four plus two is going to be a negative two divided by two is going to equal a negative one. So we can see negative one right there. So I was pretty close in that regard. And you can see though, like how I visualized where the midpoint was, you can see mathematically, I could go ahead and verify that. So that ladies and gentlemen is how you find the midpoint when you have two coordinate points on the coordinate grid. In the next video, what I want to do is talk about, well, how do you find the end point when you're given a midpoint and the other end point? So if you're interested in that video, you can click here or I have many more examples for you down below. Cheers.